Hi, this is Carl Stevens at the Franklin Park Zoo, and I know what you folks are thinking. You're thinking, how are the animals doing? It's 90 degrees outside. How are they? Well, let's find out. Here's what a tiger does when it gets hot. Hit the water. This tiger's name is Anala, one of two tigers here. And Anala's just taking it easy, taking a little bath on a hot day. And there we're face, and here we are face to face with the king of beasts. And I don't know if you can tell, yeah, you can tell. See, he's getting a mist bath. See what looks like fog there? That's a nice cool mist for the king of beasts sitting in the shade on a hot day. All right, here we are next to the big lion, and I am with the curator of mammals. Do I have that right? You got it right. And what's your name again? John Piazza. John, how is it for animals when it gets to be 90 degrees? Hot. Yeah, All right, hot. John, you were saying something about treats. Right. Um, normally in zoos, what we try to do is environmental enrichment uh, for animals, and one of the tools we use are uh, frozen treats, kind of like a popsicle, an animal popsicle. And to that effect, on a hot day like this, it's very advantageous for us to uh, give one of the animals a treat on exhibit which would have something in it that they like frozen in it. So it's kind of like one of those jello molds where you see the fruit mixed in. Uh, we actually can do it for carnivores. They're called blood balls, and you can use <laughs> blood that's Wait a minute. Up. Wait, we're talking about animal popsicles and yeah, blood balls. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's, All right, it's, I uh, think I've heard enough. Personal preference. <laughs> Here's our good friend, little Joe. Hello, Joe. How are you today? And Joe, I would imagine, likes the heat. John, could you come over here a little sure. bit? How, how do gorillas do when it gets to be 90 degrees? Well, basically, they come from a tropical environment, obviously, so it's usually a very hot, wet heat. And again, it's just, you know, limit activity, uh, excess water when available, and we take care of a lot of those needs, all those needs. And uh, we augment that again with the treats that I would mentioned earlier, the uh, frozen treats. Uh, we monitor their behavior and just make sure everything's uh, going well. Hello, little Joe. Joe, I had a question for you. Do you think man evolved from apes? Any thoughts? Can you tap twice for yes? Oh well. I tried, folks. This is the throwing of the animal popsicle. It's a nice treat on a hot day. The gorillas like it. That one and the little one. What if the little one likes popsicles? I know my little ones do. So there are the gorillas. Janine has given them their animal popsicles. They're enjoying this nice 90 degree day. Thanks to the folks at the Franklin Park Zoo. Trying to make sure that all the animals, even us two-legged ones, are comfortable. From the Franklin Park Zoo, Carl Stevens, WBZ News Radio, 1030.